What are the three most used guitar chords? Well, in this episode, I'm going to talk to you exactly about what those three chords are, because knowing these three opens up a myriad of songs that you can play to get going, playing great songs around the camp or at a party. Um, you'll find that they're easy to play, but they form the basis of every other song as well. And But you want to handle on these ones first. All right, and if you stick around to the end, I do have a free gift for you that's going to show you how to put all these chords together and so you can play those great songs for fun. All right, let's go for it. In this episode of what are the three most used guitar chords, I'm going to demonstrate for you that with a little bit of theory, now you don't need to know theory, but with a little bit, it, it just makes it come alive a little bit more for you, what these three chords are. And these three chords form the skeleton of these songs. To do that, we're going to run through a couple of scales so it makes sense. Not scales in the, the way that you know, but like, the music for the musical keys and of course I'm going to show you a couple of examples so it all brings it all together and one really easy way that you can get these three chords going really really swiftly all right let's go for it so let's dive in to find out what are the three most used guitar chords now to find this out we have to revert to what we call a scale now, a scale is generally made up of seven notes, which can, like I don't want to get too deep into theory here for you, but can be harmonized to be, create chords. All right, so in the key of C, for example, we have C, D minor, E minor, F, G, A minor, B diminished, or B flat, um, B minor, seven flat, five, depends which way you look at it. All right, but our most important one, if we lay that out, we start on C, we got, that's our one chord, D minor is our two chord, three is our E minor, four is our F, and then the G is our five, and so on and so forth. The most common chords that are, the three most common chords that are played are generally the one, four, and five chords. Okay, this comes up in many, many songs. So in the key of C, for example, you've got La Bumba. So I'm just using C, F, G, then go back to F, all right? Nice and simple, all right? So the, these three chords, the one, the four, and the five, can be in any key, but form the skeleton or the basis of many songs. And this may come up in the, it may be, well, sorry, it may be used throughout the whole song, or like a song like um, Old Time Rock and Roll, or it could be used as a verse or a chorus in a song, okay? Um, Paul Kelly's To A Door uses the 145 in the verse. Um, in Bob Dylan's Like a Rolling Stone uses 145 in the intro and the chorus, whereas he uses different chords in the verse section there. All right, so what if we're in the key of G, for example, all right? A lot of great songs. Very guitar friendly key. So in the key of G, we've got G, A minor, B minor, C, D, E minor, and F sharp diminished. All right, so if we look again, G's our one chord this time. A minor is our two chord, B minor is our three chord, four is C, and five is D. And you can see the A minor is this six there. Sorry. E minor is the six there, my bad. All right, but like we, we're after the one, the four, and the five. And in this case, it's G, C, D. All right, so in a song like Old Time Rock and Roll, he just, like with O, mm, mm, to C. Okay, and then it just keeps repeating that very similar to that all the way through. Now, the other thing that this 145 can do, it can go sort of in an opposite direction. What I mean by that is most times it alternates 
the four and the five. So it can, instead of being a one, four, five, it can be called a one, five, four, all right? Now, I know this may be going over your head at this stage with all these numbers and what it is, and if that's the case, that's okay. Theory is very confusing to begin with, all right? So a little exposure to it each time makes it so much easier. So just take what you can. If it bounces off the brain, that's perfectly fine, perfectly understandable, but just let it bounce. Play these songs that I suggest, and then you're gonna find, oh yeah, that's what it is. And it's just gonna slowly seep in. All right, so what I mean by the uh, one, four, five in the opposite way, if we play, So we went G, D, C, back to D, instead of G, C, D, back to C, for example, okay? So it's really classed as a one, four, five. When you hear that, it, it means the same thing. It just got those fives and fours in the opposite way. So this one, four, five in all these different keys, and if it's in the key of D, it's D, R, uh, G, A, um, are really just, as I mentioned, the skeleton of the song. It can be used in the whole song or it can be used in part of the song. And generally, it throws in what we call a minor chord from here, all right? So a lot of songs will have, instead of just G, C, D, for example, G, C, D, they'll throw in the E minor as well. So you get... So there you've got Pearl Jam's Last Kiss, basically, right? But like this underlying skeleton of the song is the one, four, five, it's just the minor comes in to give it a little bit of extra flavor, a little bit of extra character. Same on a song like Stand By Me, or even on a song like Wagon Wheel, right? It's got those one, four, fives throughout, but just throws in another chord for color. All right, let's look at an easy way you can get these one, four, fives down. All right, so let's start in the key G. You know the G, C, D, all right? And if we just use our capo, we can follow this along, all right? So if we're in the key of A now, we put our capo on as a fret two. And then we just play the same shapes, but like we're sounding an A chord now. So there's my one, there's my four. In this case, it's sounding a D. Sounds an E, so I've got. Alright, and again, I can play that one, four, five in various ways. Okay, um, let's choose B flat, one fret higher. We got the G, now we're in the B flat, so we got, instead of worrying about what chords they are, well, well we, we do, but you know, don't, don't. So there's a B flat, our fourth chord in this key is E flat, and then we're going to go to an F. So B flat, E flat, F, all right? Doesn't come up a lot, but like, that's an easy way to get, move the thing around. Let's say we start with the key of C, down here, a normal chord, all right? And we know that song in the key of C, so let's play what we're saying we're doing La Bumba again. And you're just going to move that up to the key of D because somebody wants to sing it in a different key. Put your capo on the second fret. Play the same shapes. There's your D now. C shape, but playing a D chord, sounding a D chord, sorry. Right. D. There's my four, which is G. There's my A. And you can do this up and down the fretboard, just finding that original shape that you know and finding out the three most used chords that we have. Well, I know I've covered a lot of the material on how to find out what are the three most used guitar chords. And if that's left you spinning slightly, um, that's perfectly normal because I tend not to go down the theory road because it is confusing for an adult beginner. But that just answers that question. And if you want an easy way to start putting this into practice, so you're not learning theory so much, it's more about playing songs, 
I have a free gift and that's my ultimate four chord songbook. Hey, it's not a songbook, it's a video course, right? You get one song a month over a period of 10 months. It's all free, okay? Um, all you need to do is just follow this link here to enter your details and you'll get your first song straight away and then um, in 30 days you get your next song. All right, so in it, there's all songs are broken down into small bite-sized video for you, full of instructions, taking it down, keeping it really, really simple to get you going. And you'll find that the songs in there, like in the key G, where we don't use a capo, but songs like um, that change keys, we just got to keep the same four shapes and you can transpose that up and learn your one four fives that way even though it's a four chord song so there is that minor chord that i discussed earlier thrown in there on a lot of songs and that just opens up some great great songs for you to play all right so just follow that link and you'll you'll find it and if you want more help with these one four fives but how to transpose it along using a guitar capo watch this video here and i'll see you on the next one bye for now